So I bought a new paddle board at Costco. It's an inflatable one. It's pretty big. And uh, last year, I fell in love with paddle boarding up here at Island Park. So I want to do a review of this paddle board that uh, I got at Costco. So this is the, the box that it came in. Hyperlite. It was uh, $400. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna do a comparison of this paddle board to a couple of other styles of paddle boards. Um, I'm not gonna do a comprehensive how to set up because there's lots of videos on that. I watched one before I set it up, before I bought it actually, I, I watched it. But I'll let you know that uh, I haven't used the bag yet because we've kept it inflated the whole week. That pump worked great, it attached to the board just like the instructions said. The fin attaches really easy, comes off really easy, but yet it's really secure, so that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go out there. You can actually pull this one out of the water for a moment. So this plastic paddle board is one that was provided with the cabin that we rented. It's actually quite stable. One thing that I want to show you is these fins. They actually fold in and tuck away when you're not using it and then they fold out and hold secure when you're using it on the water. That's a pretty cool feature. You'll notice that this plastic paddle board has a really low profile. My feet are about at the water's level and I find that I am a little bit more stable. It, it seems like a more rigid structure that I'm standing on, but I'll admit my inflatable one that I bought, it's more fun. I don't know why, it just seems like it's more of a ride whereas this, this is just more firm. My daughter enjoyed the inflatable paddleboard as well. This is the one that she chose to go out on most of the time. Scoot back onto the brown part right there. So this is a trick that I'm quite proud of. It's actually pretty dorky, but uh, I would jump from the dock onto the paddle board and try not to fall in. And much of the time we're on the other toys and so this thing sits here empty. So one thing that we really enjoyed having two different paddle boards is to kind of battle like a like a jousting match or you know, we'd say ramming speed and the goal was to try and tip each other over now the the plastic one because it was a low profile i found that it had an advantage because it could go underneath the inflatable paddleboard the inflatable paddleboard can actually hold a lot more weight but uh, when you can go underneath it and flip it over that helps you win here's the moment where i get underneath my daughter's paddleboard <laughs> My son Joseph really wanted to dunk uh, his sister. I found it quite comical. He's kind of immature in this moment and I just think it's really funny. The fit he throws as he's the one trying to dunk his sister. Now one thing that I, I found is it behaves differently depending on where you stand. So if you stand more forward and you paddle, it goes straight. Uh, you can paddle several times on one side and it doesn't really turn that much. If you scoot further back and you paddle, it becomes really easy to turn. And so uh, you, you scoot all the way back and it actually becomes fun and, and out of balance where you're risking falling off. But it was fun to try and do tricks and stuff like that. So I do have to say, I really like this paddle board. Even compared to that plastic one that is more stable, I just feel like going on the other one more. It feels funner. Uh, I have plenty of control. I have plenty of balance, even though it can sway a bit more. I don't feel like I'm unstable and I'm going to fall off. It's softer. If I want to sit down, I can. It's way lighter. 
So the fact that I can just pick it up and move it, if I have to move the green one, I'm like, eh, I don't really want to pick that thing up. So that's just how I feel about it. It's, it's nice having a really lightweight one and the fact that it can deflate and I can take it home in my car or I can carry it on my back in the backpack. I tried that out when I first got it out of the box. So the lightweight portability and it seems funner and it's more comfortable on my feet. My fun mounting strategy where I kind of just run on the back I never felt like attempting that on other paddle boards, maybe because they're too hard or something like that. But I am definitely glad I bought this paddle board. I give it a two thumbs up, except for my other thumbs holding the camera. If you felt that this review was helpful, then give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.